You didn't lose it though, right? Just hit save no, right I mean, now. I didn't, I didn't crash, yeah. Uh... Oh, hey. It like picked back up. It has the same old chat. Is this going to be connected as part of the same VOD? Whatever. No. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's weird that it has the same old chat. So I guess while I have <laughs> here, I'll, I'll play this on stream real quick, just because it's funny. Now, oh, so the t <laughs> my computer just completely fucking blue screened right as Connor had me play his tape, so I had to reset everything. I don't know why that just happened, but here's the clip because it's funny. Right, hold e on this, put the tape in there. You missed the best part, which is that I have outdoor speakers playing that as well whenever you turn it Wait, on. Wait, I didn't stop it. It's still, is it going to play on loop? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I gotta go it's in. Not stop playing the tape now. <laughs> yeah, and it is a loop. It's not a song. It's specifically a loop. <laughs> uh... It already has power, right? So I'll have to just hit yeah. Play. You just have to press play. I'm glad I, I'm glad you thought about that. Oh, I have oh, an wait. actual dance. Oh, there we go. Wait, what happened? Uh oh. Y did you make a tape that crashes your game? Literally oh. at that exact second, blue screen. It just went and like fucked up. So I don't. Whatever. Ah. Uh. Now this particular. Whoops. <laughs> Can you, are you streaming it like with audio? Oh no, here. I want to see this. <laughs> this is gonna be really funny. Just I'm just asleep on the dance floor, blasting <laughs> that. <laughs> God, we're we're going way off topic. It's whatever. What is with the nerd? <laughs> what are you talking about? What? <laughs> oh, the video I started playing. Yeah, just some fucking some nerd guy. He is kind of a nerd. You're right. I'm so glad I didn't lose all my progress on this. If I forgot to save and I lost this whole thing because of the fucking pop that pussy tape. Oh. ETP. Oh, the running nerds at the bottom. <laughs> oh, they were only double because I was playing back a clip of the stream. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Damn. So now Connor's loading in to clean up the mess I left. I mean, you could just show the rest of the tape, right? It's all that. It's three oh, second okay. <laughs> loop. That's what's so good about it. Is it a, that makes the clip tape? even better. I didn't miss anything. If anything, I added to it by crashing. A hundred percent. It wouldn't have been <laughs> nearly as. Not that pussy, baby. Do you uh, do you think we'll get ah. claimed for that? <laughs> no. <laughs> you have no idea where I got that loop. It is not of. I feel like I've heard it. I feel like I've heard it. A specific loop? You probably have, actually. I think you showed it to me. I gotta remember it was, where it was from. I, it was on a Wayne stream at one point. But he didn't play it intentionally. It, it's part of a Newgrounds thing. <laughs> so, how did you record your own music onto it? Did you just play it through your mic and record it? No, I, um, I have, uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like a, you can route. <laughs> oh, it's, the tape ended. <laughs> I heard it for a second. It was going. Yeah. You came in, like, right at the end of it. <laughs> the jazz station is the best station, for sure. Yeah, it really is. It feels the best to look out on the ocean. What I kept doing is I would play it in my bass. Oh. <laughs> a little too much. A little too much sauce. Play the tape again. I want to, like, actually experience it.
Do you have to rewind the tape? No, sometimes you just... Oh, actually, maybe the the long ones... Maybe. Sometimes you just gotta switch them out. They're, they're kind of bugged right now. Especially since, like, the way it works is it plays radio if there's no player, or there's no cassette in there. But you can't play radio otherwise. I couldn't handle it. I couldn't hang. <laughs> and you're saying it's blasting over loudspeakers so everyone in the area can hear it too? Yeah. You can hear it still from pretty far. <laughs> That's really good. It's kind of OP, I was realizing, for raids. Because you play a bunch of music and you just don't hear footsteps indoors. They can just mute that. Oh, they can? You can mute specifically, like, uh, voice pack stuff. Oh, good, okay. Well, so if way, anyone was it, using it strategically like that, you could just mute it. For whatever reason, it really relaxes me. This loop? To have <laughs> well, this loop, definitely, but... But yeah, what I was doing is I had a, a boombox set up, and then it was just blasting jazz music out of my base as I was farming wood and shit. <laughs> like, it was nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's just nice. Like, it, it makes you feel more safe for whatever reason. Even though it makes you, like, <clears throat> in danger so yeah, I, I guess hopefully that doesn't happen again I'm not gonna try to launch a game and stream and have unity open at the same time maybe that was the problem I don't know it's real quick Whoops. while I'm here why can't I show Connor's screen Oh, it's because I gotta open it as the pop out. So yeah, we got we gotta get on track. We have to like. I know. This... I just remember. <laughs> I forgot all these. Like they're about to die. So yeah, as soon as you're done with that, we're launching straight into this shit. Yeah. It's been like <laughs> like 45 minutes, and we haven't done anything. Yeah, extra. Well, we've time showed off our board. levels, I guess extra time uh and why is my stream dropping so hard it's sort of like my internet works fine for everything but streaming apparently it re i guess requires a certain like uh it requires like a lot. Look at that! I have like 200 megabytes internet. per second. My my internet's fucking killing it. And then it pops yeah, up. Yeah, I think it's like oh, your well, stream is barely screen. hanging by. No, but I'm saying like I'm I'm getting errors popping up that say like like your stream has dropped frames. Like I've dropped 40 percent of the frames of this whole stream. Half of this stream uh -huh. has been cut. Like why? What did I do? I don't know. It might just be something you gotta look into. It also could just be. I know, like, Twitch. Twitch to some extent will, like, uh, throttle. Not throttle, but they, like, they won't give the same amount of bandwidth to everybody, yeah. I guess. Which is, of course, reasonable, but. If it were if it, if it were that that's causing problems, that would be uh, very annoying. Okay. Okay, so just switch your screen back to the window thing and let's get fucking going.
Uh, <clears throat> I can't believe you've done that to me. So we're just doing orbit camera? Yep, we're starting right at camera collisions. <coughs> Currently our camera only cares about its position and orientation relative to its focus. It doesn't know anything about the rest of the scene, thus it goes straight through other geometry, which causes a few problems. First, it's ugly. Second, it can cause geometry to obstruct our view of the sphere, which makes it hard to navigate. Third, clipping through geometry can reveal areas that shouldn't be visible. We'll begin by only considering the case where the camera's focus is set to zero. We'll begin by only considering the case where the camera's focus distance is set to zero. What does that mean? When it's not like moving around, like when it's following it perfectly behind, where there's like no camera lag. Oh, so it won't it won't address it won't affect the auto adjusting camera. Is that the idea? Um, I think. Not the auto adjusting, but the um, like uh, the when you like move away from the middle of the screen, the camera doesn't follow it. I forget what it's called. It kind of just I mean, hit it, me that it's <laughs> called, called focus radius. Is this called the little fridge guys of running nerds? And that's a really funny way to refer to them. Yeah, like this this stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, not quite. This is when it's set to four. Oh, there's so, a radius. Oh, <clears throat> so when you set that to zero, it just there's no trailing at all. It's just locked directly yeah. onto the camera. Okay. Yeah. This is so actually we should this set it looks to nice. Zero. I don't I don't totally mind this like long. It kind of works since the it's so hard to turn. Like, you don't have a tight circle. Okay, so I should set that thing's <clears throat> setting to zero then? The focus radius to zero? Yeah. That means it's just hard locked onto the sphere. There's no. Oh no! Did it happen again? Oh wait, no. Okay. <clears throat> I'll I'll keep the stream open. Okay, it seems to be okay. Okay, so he's saying later he's going to add in the functionality to have the rotating, I guess. Oh, he could just—he just added a light onto his ball. I mean, I could do that too. It's a pretty neat little feature. You just go to a uh, light, uh, point light, and hover it above the ball like this, and then set it to whatever color. You could set the kind of like the intensity and the range of it, and then I make it a child of the ball which means any any movements that the ball does the light will also do essentially so I just go BAM so now the light will move along with the ball it's a pretty simple little idea it was a good idea for Connor to add that to his because he had a lot more like dark areas than I did yeah it's kind of hard to see in some of these <clears throat> I'll make my light blue. I saw a game that had pretty much what we have right now in terms of like like the movement system. Yeah, like it's all sphere focused. <clears throat> You've probably seen it before. It's a uh, run the flash game. Hmm a flash game that has this level of depth in the movement system maybe not this level of depth I guess but what they basically are doing the same goal 
but they just like put little arms on the ball. I'm trying to, <laughs> I guess I'll just show a video. I guess uh, I just, I was watching a little bit of it for some reason and I noticed like, this is just a sphere runner. Here's the sphere. Do the arms go like this and like run along with it? Yeah. I see, okay. He keeps going to well, away he has from legs. the gameplay. He has legs and a face and <laughs> like antennas and shit too, right? Well, they're they're not real. It's just a an animation playing over a ball. Huh. This is pretty impressive for Flash. It's kind of cool. Yeah, and this is kind of similar to I think what we'll be doing later with the custom gravity. I wonder how much of this is actually like. I don't think a lot of this is actually doing like physics and like three D rendering though. I feel like this well, is here, like two D with like three D tricks. I will. I'll do run two then. That, that might show it off a bit better. I feel this still has that weird feeling to it. I I feel like it's it's like fake. It's just 3D. a. No, I think it's just a. Uh, what's it called? A line? Yeah. Well, I think it's just an outline shader. I think it's the parallax that's throwing me off. Something about the parallax or like the way it's scrolling up to you. But still, yeah, I, I definitely see what you mean. I, I just feel like the cust like, uh, don't you think it's the platform that's moving rather than like they're shifting the way that gravity works when they do the rotate? Well, I mean, the I've looked ahead a little bit, and I mean, basically, the way gravity, like, complex gravity works is you're just constantly changing the orientation. So it is basically the same thing what he's doing. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm pr I, like, I'm pretty sure we're not, we're not, like, changing the direction of gravity itself in the game. We just, like, create zones where the orientation has changed. That'd be but either way, let's keep uh, let's keep going. All right, all right. Reducing look distance. Uh, there are various strategies that can be used to keep the player's view valid. We'll apply the simplest, which is to pull the camera forward along its look direction if something ends up between the camera and its focus point. The most obvious way to detect a problem is by casting a ray from the focus point toward where we want to place the camera. Do this in orbit camera dot late update once we have the look direction. If we hit something, then we use the hit distance instead of the configured distance. So yeah, it's just from the ball to the camera. So the fact that he's using the, what was the wording? He's casting the ray from the focus point to the camera to do this. That's probably why he has to lock it to zero, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> At first. I need to do that. I'll just put it under these two vector threes. Look direction, look position. Those are defined within something, right? Is that within manual rotation? Oh, yeah, it's within late update. Okay. So it does the raycast and then it returns as a boolean, which basically says like yes it hit something or no it didn't hit something. If it did hit something, then um, I don't know what this is saying actually. I don't know. I don't think I put normalized direction in yet. I always do this. I always leave the last one empty for some reason so um this is this is all an argument within raycast i just realized <clears throat> so if if the raycast of going from focus point to negative look direction and then we have the variable of what it hit and then we have the variable of the distance between the two things so if that oh i did do it never mind then this 
which is it sets the look position equal to the focus point. Shouldn't there be an else if it doesn't hit anything? And then it just, I guess no, because the default is that it's going to do the other thing already. So the else would just be else do nothing. Just going to look at the ray cast thing on, on Unity. Oh, you can provide a layer mask. That's cool. So you could do a similar thing with like the the detailed and and whatnot. Like the detail layers. Um That's pretty so nice. Yeah. It's origin, direction, max distance. So yeah, the uh, origin and... is the look point. The direction is negative of the connection between the camera and the ball. And then the hit is just like the variable of what was hit, right? Is that how that works? Like, what are we storing in that hit variable? Let me see. Where, God damn it. where is it? Oh, out hit. He explained that before. Let me see. Let me see where out is. That's weird. It doesn't. Oh, oh. There's a second declaration thing. Okay, so it's origin, direction, out, raycast, hit, hit info. If true is returned, hit info will contain more information about where the closest collider was hit. See also raycast hit. So you get the collider, the distance, the normal, the impact point, the rigid body data, and texture coordinate data, and transform, and a couple others. I don't know. Do you still have uh, any rigid bodies on your map? Um, from before, I mean. I don't think I ever. I guess I had that one capsule, but. Okay. Just because I'm trying to. I think there's a specific setting we're supposed to put on the rigid body. That I don't remember now. Oh okay. So I'm gonna check that well, really quick. I think we're just getting. I think we're just getting the distance, maybe. Distance and the normal. I don't think it's actually. I mean, it doesn't have to have anything to do with the rigid body if we don't want it to. That could be an interesting game, though, where, like, uh, your camera follows behind you and knocks shit over. Like, the camera has a rigid body? Yeah. Maybe a flying eye game of some kind. Wait, well, yeah, I've always thought be... that a good third person, a way to balance a third person shooter would be to like have the camera be a physical object that can be like shot out. And then if you shoot mm. someone's camera, it forces them back into first person. I feel like that's that a fun good. idea. Yeah. Because when you use third person, you like peek around corners and shit, you know? Like if I went like this and then there was a guy down in that hallway and he just shoots my camera. Yeah, that would be very cool. Yeah, I gotta figure out that rigid bodies thing, but I'll I'll do it off stream, I guess. I thought I was hoping it would be a quick thing. Okay, so do you have the spring arm thing working? Spring arm thing? The camera, where it it moves. The whole thing. Where it moved. The, the thing we're doing. The, I mean, but like the up to ray cast. Up to reducing look distance, where you put in the raycast. Yeah, like, have you put that code in, basically? Have you put the raycast in? No, not yet. I'm about to. <clears throat> and it's under fixed update? It's, I put it under fixed update, or, yeah. Or late update, I'm sorry. Late, late update, yeah. See, I still, oh, okay. I still feel a little bit of jitteriness every once in a while. Like right here, it's it's jittering. 
I don't know if that's something that would get fixed with, uh, like, building the game or not, though. Yeah, I guess I don't totally... I don't totally get how this works. So... The way he structured it makes it kind of hard to read, I feel like, for me. But my idea of it is just that, like, you know, the if statement is just... You know, if it hits something or not. If it does hit something, then change the look position to be closer by subtracting the look direction and the hit distance. Because look position... Oh, I see. I, I get what's happening. I The physics raycast origin is the focus point. So, yeah. of course. Okay. I, was, I wasn't understanding how it was getting that backwards thing, but I get it now. So yeah, the, we set the rotation right here and the, the position and the rotation, but we just have one last check right before it gets set just to say, like, should the position move? Like, does this raycast hit anything? There's still a bit of clipping. Like, it's not... Perfect, and I'm assuming he's gonna go into I, that. I had my focus radius turned up still. Oh, okay. Yeah, bring that Let down to zero. See. This is very impressive, though, that you could do this in like two lines. Yeah, that was like a very simple change. It probably is more to do with the fact that he was like planning for that, you know? So it's just set up perfectly for this one line to kind of do that, but I don't know. It's it's a it's a very smart system. But let's see if the stream survives. Survives what? You just cut out. Oh. Hey, yeah, uh, it's it's still going. Damn it, man! I'm getting so many little errors. Fifty-two percent of the stream is dropped. Hey Zeus, is this just like an awful experience for you right now? Like. Is this... How is this stream even... I've dropped 52% of my frames. I'm watching it and it just... I mean, yeah, it, it doesn't look like smooth, I guess, but... It's also not unwatchable. But it's like, if I ever want to stream games... Like, how the fuck am I supposed to stream a game? Like, if it's this bad, I don't know. Maybe, um... I've heard that display capture could slow things down. What is that? Oh, like using display capture instead of game capture? Yeah. I think because it has to like route through your... That makes sense. Your monitor. But also, I don't know if that would have to do with... It would make sense if it was having to do with like OBS or something. I mean, I could just real quick, I could just try that. I'm not going to spend super long on this. I'm going to just add a new thing that's a uh, window capture, I, I suppose. I just don't know if you'll be able to... Well, no, not... I, actually, I don't know. I don't and know if And then I'll just capture... Discord. Oh, well, no, that's how I'm getting yours, is through a window capture already. Yeah. So I have this one. Man, I specifically told it to be at the bottom. Okay, so if I turn off my desktop... Okay, so now I'm streaming window capture, not desktop capture. So it's just Unity. So if I bring up a separate window, it won't get shown. It'll just be Unity the whole time, which might not be the best, but it also hopefully will make the stream a little smoother. We'll see. I don't know.
<clears throat> Anyways. Oh, well, now I'm reading the thing and it doesn't show up. Whatever. Okay. Pulling the camera closer to the focus point can get it so close that it enters the sphere. When the sphere intersects... Sorry, there's someone at my door. Oh, okay. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to try to figure out this... Never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> thing is, now I, I had the settings already set up on that other rigid body, those like red cubes I had, and I deleted all of them. I don't think I can get them back now. Oh well. They're just rigid bodies that were put on a different layer. Well, what layer? I can only have so many. It was either detailed or stairs, right? Probably detailed. Well, isn't detailed the thing that specifically avoids interacting oh, with agent. agents? Well, no, agent. It's not agent because agent is me. Stairs is specifically the the hitbox that only interacts with the agent and doesn't interact with any physics objects. And then detailed mm -hmm. is the opposite. It, it interacts with everything but the agent. Like Maybe none of those apply to the rigid one. body. Make a props one. But I would have had to have already done that, right? Like, wouldn't I have the layer then? No, why? Because I had make a layer rigid on the bodies fly. already working. Oh. Did I already you? had them working. That those red cubes I had on the last level. Are you sure those were those were detail or those weren't detailed? Because that's what he said to do in the tutorial. If the rigid body was set to detailed, then I would just go through them as the agent. I the don't detailed know. layer doesn't interact with the agent layer. That's well, like the whole point. Just go back and see what he does then. That's what I, I brought up the tutorial and it, I don't know. I don't know if you actually did interact with the red cubes. I definitely did, for sure. I would like jump on top of them and push them over and shit all the time. Detailed interacts with detailed. Stairs interacts with agent. Agent interacts with agent. Yeah, he pushes them too. Well, so, I mean, um, I could bring up the VOD of the last world too, I guess, and see if I ever opened up their systems for whatever reason. I'm sure if, whatever, I mean, I could just roll back the VODs for when I first set up those cubes, find that one, figure it out. But there's just some setting I'm missing. Like, it's not. They're. Are they on default right now? Yeah. Um, is, I, I don't know. I mean, it should just be how he has it, I guess. I don't know why it's falling through. Maybe if I set it to a box collider, but leave it on default. I don't know. I don't know. It just clips right through. It's weird. Whatever. It's have... not important right now. Maybe just check your physics thing to make sure it inter I guess it would if you can roll on stuff. Here, I guess I'll, I'm going to put one of the physics cubes like right above my player and see if it like bounces off of my dude's head. Maybe put one at an angle. I'll do both. No, it just goes right through them, yeah. What the hell? Weird. It has a mesh render, it has a mesh collider, it has a rigid body. Like, what else does it need? Maybe try a box collider. Okay. That's my only other... Hey, there it is. That did it. What the hell? Good call. Okay. So, what... Oh, wait. Mesh oh! Colliders. 
Mesh Collider defaults to concave. Oh, okay, yeah. So I have to manually tell it it's a convex shape. If you select all of them, it might... You might be able to change all of them at the same time. So yeah, even with the Mesh Collider, if I tell it it's convex specifically, then it works. Okay, okay. So let me fix all of these then. Good yeah, call. Mesh Collider is generally for shapes that, like... You can't block out. I'm like, just gonna switch them all to box them. colliders. Yeah, there's no reason for them to be mesh colliders. You're right. This one though, this one should be a mesh collider. So now I should be able to play with the physics objects. Yeah. Let me knock over that pyramid. Boom! Oh shit, they're heavy. I'll get it. I'll get it eventually. It needs a soul. I think he's onto something. That's why it's clipping through shit. Yeah, it's a ghost. Oh my fucking god. Why are they so heavy? It's a brick wall. You, you set it up like a brick wall. Fucking fall! Oh Just my. bring your mass up a bunch. Can I do that? Yeah. I mean, you don't have a... I mean, you weigh as oh, much as like yeah. one block. 50 mass. Oh, yeah. And we don't... I don't think we take mass into consideration at ever with our, our speed. So it just so makes could, us stronger. <laughs> yeah, it just makes yeah. a force way bigger. Cause, cause F M A F equals M A. Remember? I tried to think of a joke. <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist. There you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, pulling the camera closer to the focus point can get it so close that it enters the sphere. When the sphere intersects the camera's near plane, it can get partially or even totally clipped. He said of instead of or, I guess. You could enforce a minimum distance to avoid this, but that would mean the camera remains inside other geometry. There is no perfect solution to this, but it can be mitigated by restricting vertical orbit angles, not making level geometry too tight, and reducing the camera's near clip plane distance. I, I like the idea of having the minimum distance. That seems like a good happy yeah. medium answer to it. I wonder if that's what he's going to do. Cap casting a single ray isn't enough to solve the problem entirely. That's because the camera's near plane rectangle can still partially cut through geometry even when there is a clear line between the camera's position and the focus point. The solution is to perform a box cast instead, matching the near plane rectangle of the camera in world space, which represents the closest thing that the camera can see. It's analogous to the camera sensor. So we're doing a, a ray of multiple rays that are in like a square shape that exactly matches what the camera sees that's the idea yeah. and then if any of those are b below like clipping through something correct i never it. thought about that i feel like you could do so much with that do we just overhaul the old one then like because the old ray cast was coming from the ball going to the camera right now it's going from the camera to the ball or is this just a new ray cast it's weird you could use this in a camera swap of some kind, I feel like. Because with the Raycast, you can... I, saw, I read that you can get the texture coordinates. So you could, like... Not a camera. I'm thinking of, like, a the opposite. Like a spray bottle. Of, or, like, a spray paint. Or something, you know? You could, like, take a picture and then everything that's in your view turns orange and then you turn and it's all been projected onto the texture that's sick that's true yeah that is how you would do that huh yeah get on that i'll be right back go to the bathroom I got my... keep it uh keep the yeah. stream going you know <laughs> keep the people happy uh 
want to hear me turn into a Super Saiyan? Hold on. Wanna hold on, wanna hear me turn into a Super Saiyan? Damn it. Wanna hear me turn into a Super Saiyan? There you go. Execution. Is there any game that says that? I feel like definitely like there's more fatality. And there's, I don't know. I think I'm mentally confusing it with fatality. This is what happens when I'm just a little box on the screen in the bigger screen. Okay, quick, quick. Gotta play Strive. Focus your attention to the bottom right of the screen. Time for stride. Come on. Take a really long time, Trav. Damn it. Wait, what? Oh, God. I made a critical error. I was looking at the stream and I saw my mouse movement. I saw my mouse movement and thought it was Trav. So I thought he was back. So I turned it off. But Trav put me on big screen and I didn't know. Not going to do online. Just a just a quick one. Uh, why do you have to communicate with a server? Attention, hope, and free. God, this game's network thing is is actually a really big problem. They have a great lobby, and the, the internet just sucks for it. The servers, once you get in, it's good, but it takes so long. And apparently, in Japan, it's twice as fast. So they just prioritized Japan. All right, I'm back. Guilty you don't have enough time. Damn it. Damn it. Not enough time to play Guilty Gear. I was loading with the server the entire time. <laughs> oh, I'm in. Damn it. <laughs> I hate the server thing. It's a fighting game. That's all. No, never mind. First, Orbit Camera needs a reference to its camera component. So I'll, I'll do that. It within a week. We just get it. Okay, so just when it starts, we get that component. This is something I need to get a better understanding of. I guess not understanding it, but I need to use that more because that feels like that's going to be used like a ton, like getting components from one script to the other or just from like some yeah. object like that. Second, a box cast requires a 3D vector that contains the half extends of a box, which means half its width, height and depth. Half the height can be found by taking the tangent of half of the camera's field of view angle in radians scaled by its near clip plane distance 
half the width is that scaled by its camera's aspect ratio. The depth of the box is zero. Let's calculate this in a convenient property. That's a lot. Yeah. And I guess uh, he's calling it. Oh no, a box cast is a thing. I was just, I thought maybe box cast was just something we're doing. But it is a thing in here. So I'm going to read on that. 3D vector that contains the half extends of a box. What does that mean? Half the size of the box in each dimension is the parameter. So it's like a you just do the mirror of it. I guess the idea is you can't define things as like you can't do like a trapezoid. So I have a box here and I want to get half, half the, the width the size of the box in each dimension. So half the width I guess I should do that like this actually. then half the height then half the depth it's just a box so then I'm just getting this it's not a cube it's just a box I thought it was a 3D vector and it says depth he uses depth? yeah half its height, width, and depth Oh, the depth of the box is zero. So it's a, okay. So you're right. There's yeah. There's no. I was looking at the declaration. I don't see a depth parameter. So it's, we I have mean, this the as the view the of the camera, and then we just cut that in half. So I mean, is it like this, like a box within it, or is it like the bottom right corner of it, like? I... Um. Oh, I guess that's not showing up on stream. I mean, it's it could be any corner. Right? Like, it's going to be the same. I, I mean, it's the center. Sorry, it's the center. You start from the middle of the box, and then you just define, like, if you move it to the right, it's going to go right and left the same amount. And then same way in the, the Y direction. It's like if you were to use a box tool and paintbrush and you go from the center. Uh, this is it's going way over my head right now. I'm not getting really? this. I'm not getting this at all. This is the box cast. What is the what? I guess I, I need to just be very fundamental right now. Cause yeah. I think that might be what's missing it. So what even is a box cast in this sense? So I'll, I'll go 3D. It's a it's four ray casts aligned in a box shape. God. I'm, oh god, that looks bad. So it's like so they're all like coming from one point kind of. They're all coming from four their their own points. It's like this. God, I hate the drag. I wish it just was ready like this so does that mean we have four separate origins we have to define of where no. the ray is coming no. from silly no you have a center point you have an x and a y this is the same because it's the center and this is the same because it's the center so you just have to define this and this, and you get this. Oh, and you have to define this, which we do. So you define Question. what the center is, which is just the ray cast in this sense. In the middle. So then you yes. have, so you have like the camera, and it goes do 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 and shoots a line, 
and then it hits something and then from that point it goes okay now i need to go you know left x units and then up x units and then also write the negative that amount and then down negative that amount and then do casts in each of the corners that are coming from the same direction as the camera and that makes a box pretty much yeah i feel like you made it sound more complicated but yeah i mean it's this center vector just displaced okay but yeah i think oh, i get I guess it somewhat there there's okay here's a problem the distance between your camera and that box is non-existent it is the camera this is a camera the bot wait what this is your screen oh okay so like this is a box but this is also a box up here and there's another box up here like the boxes are just the shape of the four vectors you're not like actually making sides or anything so then it's more like that's the camera I guess and there's like four rays coming out of it that kind of form like a square and then anything yeah. that and these are the four ray casts but they're all rooting from this one center ray cast mm -hmm. okay so the height and width are defined by so that's why it's half the height and half the width yeah why is it the tangent though is that because it it grows like it expands where's tangent um half the height can be found by taking the tangent of half of the camera's field of view angle in radians scaled by its near clip plane distance so i guess that's just how, that's how you're finding half the height actually so yeah tangent of the camera's field of view oh yeah because the camera's field of view is going to change all the time or not all the time but it's it's a very it's variable yeah okay so that's just the that's setting it up so that it's future proofing it yeah okay that actually helped a lot cool <clears throat> now replace physics raycast with physics box cast in late update the half extends has to be added as a second argument along with the box's rotation as a new fifth argument There it is. It's within the late update. Who's in late the where does this camera half extends? Late update. Oh. Is it? It's not its own thing? Well, oh no, cap sorry, yeah. Camera half extends is its own thing. Okay. And then the point where you change it to a box cast is within late update. Yeah. So yeah, it's just a method that creates that uh that half distance we need <clears throat> the near plane sits in front of the camera's position 
so we should only cast up to that distance which is the configured distance minus the camera's near plane distance. If we end up hitting something, then the final distance is the hit distance plus the near plane distance. What is the near plane, I guess? Um, the near plane sits in front of the camera's position. So it's the first box. It's this. It's this one. So we should only cast up to that distance. What does that mean? The configured distance minus the camera's near plane distance. I assume that the near plane distance is the, like, where the origin is. Ooh, maybe we should read back. Near plane rectangle is the long side of the triangle. What? It looks like it's like the midpoint between the camera and the, oh no, never mind. The camera's just moving upwards. So yeah, it is the... Oh, yeah, yeah. So the near plane is the, the like, front face of the camera, I guess. Yeah. But what does this mean? Like, the sense doesn't make sense to me. The near plane sits in front of the camera's position, so we should only cast up to that distance. Meaning no distance at all? Like, it's, it's right in front of the camera, so, like, there's no distance between it, right? Well, yeah, that. the depth of the box is zero, it said. So it's, now it's saying it's like a definition, though. It says it's the configured distance minus the camera's near plane distance. So we should only cast up to that So distance. I guess, yeah, it would be z the configured distance minus oh, zero. Oh, yeah, 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 because uh, we're not... I forgot, I forgot. The first part, we're reversing that ray cast. Oh, so like, it goes from the camera to the ball now? No, this time it goes from the ball to the camera. I, I mean, thought it, it always already did. It already does. But this, what he's saying is like, it goes from the ball to the camera, so we don't want to go past the camera. We want to go right up to the near plane and then stop. I thought we were doing a box cast from the camera. We're doing a box cast from the ball? We're doing... Kind of, yes. Are we doing two casts? No, there's only one cast. I... How is it going from the ball to the camera if we're doing a box cast? But it get they get reversed back. If it's you make the box cast and then minus look direction is the the vector for the direction. So if box cast is true, then spit it back, reverse it. And that's so what is it checking when you say it, if physics box cast? Like, what is it doing in that sense? It That means it hit something. Hit the ground. But I guess what is it? Like, what what is it checking? Like, where where is the ray coming from? The boxes. The box. The box is a ray, kind of. So the it starts off doing this. It shoots its rays from the camera. And then if it hits any... If these hit anything then it changes the distance to accommodate for like the camera moving on the ball and not clipping to the ground and stuff like that but so then there's also another ray that hits the ball and goes back to the camera and then back to the, like wh where's the ray that's going from the ball to the camera I don't understand that at all right there focus point if ray, if physics box cast then starting from the focus point uh actually wait let me double check that i'm saying this right but basically it's that it's the the line right after physics box cast where it says negative look direction and then out ray cast hit you're defining that ray cast hit i believe isn't that from the ray cast that 
the box cast though like isn't this an argument within the box cast like look direction is already a distance we just have set that we're just using as an argument here like a, the negative of that existing variable yeah i think we're just taking the directions of the ray cast and reversing them from their hit points I thought look direction was just the vector, like the line between the camera and the ball. That was like like an, a pre-existing variable we already had. Yeah, it is. Okay. So negative look direction is pointing back at the camera. Okay, I guess I see that. I guess I just don't see that as, as a recast. I feel like that's just a distance. Yeah. I mean, I guess because it gets, uh, maybe because it gets called every second, it is kind of hard to make sense of the beginning thing. Because we do the same thing. We make a if physics ray cast, focus point, look direction, out ray cast, hit distance, and then look position is equal to focus point. So, like, we did this before. So I guess my interpretation of the first one is you have the ball in the camera and it shoots its ray, hits, and then it goes, okay, now I need this line that's the distance between these two, but it does the reverse of it. See, no, now I already confused myself. I think if you do if physics ray cast, you're also calling it. Yeah, because that I that's what I think is that that's what's creating the actual cast. Like that's it's it's using it, and then you're just using the result of that ray cast in your if statement. Um. So yeah. I guess in this sense, it's only it's returning true or false. But it also is giving us, uh, like, hit and uh, focus point, I guess. Like, it's giving us a couple of variables from the cast that we can use, like distance yeah. and hit. And, yeah, <clears throat> when you use hit distance and then minus it, you bring it forward. But then I guess we're not done with box cast yet. The near plane sits in front of the camera's position, so we should only cast up to that distance, which is the configured yeah. distance minus the camera's near plane distance. If we end up hitting something, then the final distance is the hit distance plus the near plane distance. I guess think about it this way. If, like, so when you're when we are subtracting uh let me find it when we were doing look position equals focus point so that's focus point that's the ball minus the look direction times the hit distance so that's negative look direction i mean so this line what it's doing is bringing the camera towards the ball, right? So imagine the vector between them. Which is when look you, direction? It's pointing... So, like, if you were to take a vector and minus it, it gets shorter, right? Yeah. It gets shorter from which end, do you think? So we have look direction, which is the camera to the ball, and then we have focus point, which is also the camera to the ball? No, it's just a point. So what is the vector or sub like what is the vector subtraction? You're just saying like negative look direction. There's a there's a vector between uh basically what I'm saying is like when a vector gets smaller 
it, it, like a vector starts at the origin and it as it subtracts its magnitude goes down so its it would origin get cut doesn't like go this. down it would get cut like that yeah so if you're subtracting a vector it's pulling it's shortening right right so when we do uh focus point which is the starting point minus look direction that makes that right no like you're just look. minusing you're just minusing it's not greater than focus point but it was, so i mean would focus point plus look direction be this Yeah, I believe so. Because it's, I believe because it's the other way. So then, what would focus point minus look direction look like? What it what it looks like now, um, like here, like this. You make the vector shorter and the ball comes in or the camera comes in okay isn't that what I drew here where the one I just like drew a box around I like, guess wouldn't, wouldn't this be focus point minus so like this is focus point and then this is minus look direction uh, yeah I, I thought you were drawing the camera that's why I was just trying to do, I was trying to show that with like just that it was the opposite angle as the rest of the the lines well, I've been way, drawing. Either way talking through it makes me less uh confident that that is how it is. I just yeah, I, I definitely we've definitely spent too long on this paragraph. I just feel bad well, passing no, over I've, a paragraph that I don't understand. I was going to say the way these work is that if you don't know what's going on, you're not going to know what's going on the next next step. Yeah. It's just going to get more confusing. It's going to get worse. So you can't skip. You have to get it. We probably, even even right there, we probably shouldn't have skipped a box cast until we fully got how this two lines worked for physics ray cast. You mean up here, reducing look distance? Yeah. Okay. Or no, look, look, well, yeah, look position, focus distance. Look position, is that where we're looking? Yeah. No. It's focus point minus look direction times distance. Oh, so look direction is just like a... It's just the point and the direction. It's just a vector. It doesn't have any like, l like, length yeah. to it. You just you define the distance there. So look position is what we were drawing before, where it's you have the camera, you have the ball, and it goes focus point minus look direction times the distance between the two, and that gives you this, you know relationship between the camera and the ball and then look direction is look rotation times vector forward yeah so it's just a, a magnitude of one pointing in the direction of the camera look. of the ball i think well same thing oh yeah at the at the ball from the at camera the ball. Yeah. yeah um but it's that's why we it have doesn't have any it. I don't I don't think it has any um Wait, I mean, wouldn't yeah, it? It's, it doesn't have an origin. It's just a direction. How does it do vector th Oh, it, hmm. 
is we do vector three times hit distance. So we take that direction and just make it as long as the distance is of the ray cast. And then we subtract the focus point, or we subtract that from the focus point. And I guess focus point focus point equals focus dot position and focus dot position is the transform of the ball yeah well while we have it set to zero it's essentially equal to the ball's position like the whole time right but yeah once we change that then it throws this whole thing into fuck so it basically just displaces the focus point up to or down just wherever the camera is because the camera can be looking up at the ball on the ground yeah so yeah it's just moving the point up to the camera So then we have, we call raycast using focus point as the center, the inverse of look direction as the direction, hit as storing whatever it is that got hit, and distance storing the distance between the focus point and the hit. Oh, wait, are we, are we moving the point down into the ground, do you think? If we're looking at that GIF? What, are we taking the what focus, point? We're taking the focus point and then moving it take it like imagine the camera has a stick and it and the the focus point is just like a i don't know jelly bear gummy bear and it's just taking the stick and pushing the gummy bear down through the ground so that the camera thinks that the focus point is down there I'm not sure because it's the inverse of look direction still, right? Like it still is uh, going towards the camera. Like I feel like the, the vector explanation you had of the magnitude changing but the origin being fixed made a little more sense. Are you saying like it's a stick that's like, I guess I should just try to draw my understanding of what you're saying. So you have the floor, you have the ball, you have the camera. And then you have the focus point within the ball. And then you hit a wall and it goes like focus point is now here. Ball is here. Camera is here. Is that kind of what you're saying? Yeah, but um, I'm not sure if I'm right. And I just thought about a way we could test this better. We can draw the ray cast in the scene. Oh, we can make it like show up. Yeah, so you just great. see it. I was just gonna say that I don't I don't think it's this. Because there's I don't see anything that changes the focus point, right? Like we're only using the focus point. I don't think we edit it at any point in here. That's true. It's the position. So yeah, let's throw that line in. Do you know how to do that like easily? Is it just like a like an argument we put in the I think so. I think if we put it in the if and we have hit. We could just put it could we just put it on constantly? Like do we have to worry about if it hits or not? Well it's gonna be hitting constantly, right? So whatever. Let me see if draw array. Oh, debug dot draw array. Vector three start, so focus point, same deal. Actually, could I just define it as a hit? No. I'm gonna switch this back to ray cast for now and not box cast. Just so it's working. You can't just draw a ray that's already
uh, first point is focus point, direction, negative look direction. Uh, color dot something. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't think so. Maybe it's in scene. Oh yeah. Oh, you can do this? What the fuck? Yeah. We don't see... We don't see debug. Alright, I guess we gotta be... Oh, no, we do. Oh, it's only... Oh, it's here. only okay. when you're colliding with something. Well... Did you put it outside of the if so it's just like I guess that wouldn't really change much but no that wouldn't do anything I don't think that is good to have like a definitive answer though that it is between camera and focus point at the very least <clears throat> yeah I think that it, I mean, it starts from focus point and shoots out. Look direction points at it, so negative look direction points towards the camera. Yeah. That, sound, that, that sounds right to me. Okay. So I think with the idea with the box cast is that it does the same thing but with with four but I don't know if it's with four or within the box. You know? Yeah. Could you do this with a box cast? Why could you leave the debug on? Um, I don't know, actually. Let me look up debug box cast. You gotta write a whole thing, I think. Okay, whatever. Not worth it. Yeah, it's a little harder. Because it's the half extends. I guess we do have some of it, but we'd have to do a lot more math to get that. Okay, so So now that we have now that we know what that last paragraph means, we can move on to the next one. Casting a single ray isn't enough to solve the problem entirely. That's because the camera's near plane rectangle, which we know about can still partially cut through geometry even when there is a clear line between the camera's position and the focus point. The solution is to perform a box cast instead. The solution is to perform a box cast instead, matching the near plane rectangle of the camera in world space, which represents the closest thing the, the camera can see. That makes sense. The near plane is the closest thing the camera can see. So the near plane isn't just the camera's face. It's like, is it, does that mean it's like this, like the plane of? It's like our the way impact? of flipping. Wait, sorry, I, I cut you off. 
Is it like our, uh, so is the near plane like this kind of idea? Like it's the plane of the thing that we interact with first from the camera's perspective. Is that what that means? No, I think it's when you're doing a box, you, instead of thinking of the, uh, the ray cast as one point and a vector, you think of it as a plane and a vector, right? Yeah. So you have the start plane origin and then the plane that lands on the target. What's the target? The ball. Right? Yeah. So where is... In this case, where is our near plane? Still on the camera. It's still this? It's always on... We have two planes to make up the box. So the near plane and then this, like the in, the hit on something else, is this like a different plane? Yeah, I believe so. I mean, it's not even a plane. It's... But yes, in a way that it... It's like a collision check almost. Like we're just seeing if we hit anything between us and the ball. Okay. So then the picture he draws, it's this... It's this line right here that is the near plane. Yeah. That's the... Th I mean, yeah, if you think about it, the near plane is the thing that we're trying to constantly move. It is the camera, but it, uh, in geometry terms, our screen is a plane, so... Yeah. We can represent it as just a a plane of, of ray cast. I always thought that you'd have to ray cast for every pixel. But I think that's what ray marching is. I could be very wrong. I thought that's what ray tracing was too. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm converting. I was gifted a sub to I'm fetus. You watch Fetus? No. Oh. <laughs> I've never watched Fetus. I watched Fetus once. And I think I followed him so that I could to be a, get the drop or whatever. But someone gifted, gift subbed it to me like two months after the drops. It's crazy. And also, remember when you said you got a big, there was like a big sub bomb for Moop? Yeah. I got that too. Four days ago, for Moop. Yeah. So you also watching. were you also got a sub for that? Yeah. So it was. What the fuck? That's crazy. It seems like people just go through followers or something. Oh, wait, you choose who you gift sub to? You can. I always assumed it was random. You can, no, you can gift one to this community and then it goes just to anybody. Or okay. You can choose a specific person. I can't imagine can this dude did like fifty gift subs. He can't, there's no way yeah. he went through and picked 50 individual people, right? No, he probably went, did it to the community, and there weren't 50 unsubbed people watching, so huh. it rolled over, I bet. That's I bet funny. that's what it was. All right, well, this I think I've, we get this chunk pretty well, right? This one's just getting the component of the camera. Yeah. I don't think we need to re retread that one. Well, we went over this one pretty thoroughly. So I think I understand this one now. If you look at the GIF of him, of the one that says never clipping geometry, you can see it looks like the screen itself is colliding with stuff. That's why it looks like clippy. Like well, yeah, I have, I, I, post, I pasted ahead a little bit on the code, so I can kind of, oh, okay. like, I could see here. Like the bottom edge of the camera is kind of like scraping along the ground. I also got to fix the clipping through the ball. I wonder, I don't know if he's going to do that. But yeah, it seems like this issue is fixed. I think that clipping through the ball is a, is a clipping plane thing. Unless we, we, did you see that we do a minimum at some well, point? Well, he said, I didn't see that, but he said that we could. Like, he listed it as oh, an okay. option. So it'd just be so weird yeah, if he just, just name drops it. Well, he, I mean, he might expect we can 
set up a minimum for something. Hmm. I feel like that that would be wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, I for sure need to get more into like like doing edits of his stuff and like doing my own versions of it. I just like I get so lost on this shit. It's hard for me to have like a, an iteration of it. Yeah, I mean, when you're doing a tutorial, it's more of just like seeing how somebody else does it. But when you're like sitting there doing, you know, if when you're doing doing exploratory coding, I, I feel like you gotta have a piece of paper at least, or 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 a piece of paper like paint or something, so you can just like write out stuff quickly draw a triangle get get the right cosine or whatever okay um so do you want to just move on focus radius because we have like two chunks left and then we're done with this one uh yeah i need to paste some stuff though Um, I need to go back to BoxCast. I'm doing this thing because I, my headphones are starting to go, and I bought some, like, not super cheap, but also not, not really expensive, um, earbuds. I've just been doing one, one earbud in. Yeah. It's been actually really nice. My heart doesn't pump as bad in DBD. It doesn't... Don't you think that makes it a lot harder for you to know, like, where noises are coming from, though? Yeah, but I just know I'm... I just go into it knowing I'm handicapped. Yeah. It makes me less... Care slightly less about it. Well, at the same time, I, I still do hear stuff. But I think it helps a lot for the mic. As soon as I put both earbuds in, I start getting really quiet. Because I can hear my own, I can hear my own self in my throat. I wonder if he has a system for like smoothing, like lurping between these points. Because like if you go like this, it just kind of snaps. It would be nice if it. It would like, probably still lurp between. Like, you'd still go through it. It would just be smoother. I guess that's what I meant. Yeah, like, it would be... If it smoothly snapped. Like, the camera snaps. It doesn't snap. It would rather. have to, like, snap around, though. Is what I mean, like, you'd have to... The way you do it, you'd have to just be okay with a little bit of clipping through the edges. Oh, you're saying it would still clip through the edge if that happened? Yeah, it just wouldn't. It wouldn't go boom, boom. It would like slide in a diagonal between the two. Although this that actually plays into that idea I had of the sticky camera, which I think could be could be cool if it's a camera that just sticks to the nearest thing, and then you have the equivalent of a focus radius but it's like a pole radius so if you're too far from the camera it unsticks to the wall it's like a dynamic resident evil camera system yeah but if you had it in like an infinite runner you could trick people and just have a roof the whole time then it sticks to the roof that's kind of what like happens with the gta camera when you're driving huh what do you mean like if you you know you can like change between camera modes while you're driving in GTA. Oh yeah. There's like a chase yeah. mode that's kind of that. Yeah, the chase mode is like watching other people. It looks pretty good, I feel like, but playing with it is literally impossible. So I don't get <laughs> I feel, but you're like, but you're like proposing making a whole game with that camera. No, the camera never switches like full position. Like with in GTA, like 
I get like the original thing I was talking about was that, but it's not. It wouldn't be a driving game. It would be more of like a uh, okay. If it's like game. slower. Yeah, but the thing I was talking about just now was like, just like a. It's magnetic to the wall, so it's always like wall running, and watching you, like a wall running man with the camera. <laughs> yeah, I, that that. That could be cool. I, I just need to see I mean, it. Well, because then, then that would be the walls, the normals define the angle of the camera. So you could, like, every room could have this, like, never mind. I, we need to, we should just keep going. Yeah. But. I mean, I thought you were catching up, so. Yeah, it, I can't, I can't do both. I set up the cube I've to bonk me on the too. head right at the beginning, and now I'm like, annoyed with myself for doing that. I'd like to add like sprint functionality. That seems like a pretty simple thing that he wouldn't really go over. But if I could make like, yeah, you know, like I had it set up in Un in Unreal, like whenever I sprinted, it would like change the FOV of the camera a little bit too, and it would like only do it if you were actually moving. It wouldn't. It wasn't just when you press shift. It was when you press shift and your character is like actually going over the like sprint speed that was kind of a nice system I'd like to imp implement something like that did he um did he make an order mistake do you have do you get an error for this for raycast hit no. um I did for a while until I put in all the arguments Oh, okay. That's because I, I hadn't put every argument yet. This box it's cast probably, takes more arguments. Yeah. There's probably, like, multiple options. So yeah, I think it's trying to use raycast hit as, like, the distance or something silly like that, you know? And it just yeah, doesn't make it sense. Says, argument 4 may not be passed. And when you look at it, argument 4 is the quaternion, which you'd think would be the rotation. But I guess not. So let me test what you were saying earlier too. I'm gonna put my air acceleration like maxed and see if I could just wall climb corners with that. Oh, I didn't do air acceleration, I just did acceleration. Oh yeah. I mean I could just do this with <laughs> It's because once it like at ten, it's only it's only point like with gravity, your max or your air acceleration is like point two, right? Like at its peak, huh? It can only be point two. Look, it's wall running. And when you're going straight up in the air, anyway. I want the speed to be like really low, but the acceleration is like really high. Doesn't really do anything interesting. So we're using Whoa. the clip plane. And that part is a that part is a configurable thing within the camera component. the near clip plane so what he's talking about is near plane it is a thing that the unity uses it wasn't purely like abstract just for like understanding I 
I have the DuckTales theme stuck in my head. Not the theme, but the video game song. From oh, the, the, the one that plays when something floats away. Yeah, when a cat looks out the window. Have you seen that one? Does it float away after, or is it just looking out the window? No, there's like a cat looking out the window, and then it, the camera like pans out to a beautiful moon. And there, then like a little UI pops up. I, I always associate that with like something flying into the sky. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's true. That's the more. That's, that's like the first thing I think of. I think I used that one. in one of my videos. I think I used it in the forest video. There's like a duck that flies away or something. You ready though? Yeah, focus radius? Yeah. Or past that. Focus radius. And Our current approach. Already? No. Okay. Our current approach works, but only if the focus radius is zero. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. We're doing the fix. He grants it. When the focus is relaxed, we can end up with a focus point inside geometry, even though the ideal focus point is valid. Thus, we cannot expect that the focus point is a valid start of the box cast, so we'll have to use the ideal focus point instead. We'll cast from there to the near plane box collision, which we find by moving from the camera position to the focus position until we reach the near plane. So we go from the focus point and then we check if it's a valid point and if it's not we draw another focus point called ideal focus point that is in a valid position and then we do the the raycast from that instead so let's see how he does that oh Jesus just set the meme <laughs> <laughs> nice This is like the hybrid of the two ideas we had. Or the yeah. two like thoughts we had on it. Oh yeah. That is a good one. That's Not the perfect the cat, Venn diagram. Yeah, um, it really is. So, so if, I think if you look at the angle of it, like when uh, on the picture he drew, the angle looks like it's just like if it was in blender it looks like he just brought it down like he didn't he doesn't rotate the camera stays at the same angle which you'd want i guess because the focus point is in a different spot than the ball hmm well that's it's... what it looks like he's doing anyway it's from the code the Rect offset is look direction times regular camera near clip plane. What does that mean? Regular camera near clip plane. You're doing a plane times look rotation? Look direction? Maybe I... Oh, is near clip plane just a point in the center of. Well, I think regular camera dot near clip plane is a point i think near clip yeah. plane is the whole plane i think regular camera dot is like getting the center of it i guess so oh wait no never mind it's it's the opposite of that it's regular camera dot near clip plane so we're getting near clip plane from regular camera i don't know yeah. what i was talking about so I, I think we're taking the plane and then adding a direction to it so it's it's the four pointed box cast again i suppose like, would yeah. that just be a, that's just a rectangle then well, I don't know what he's saying for for rect offset like what is rect offset is look position so we want rectangle position and that is the look position plus the rectangle offset oh oh look direction times the plane point so the offset is the direction in which it offsets which is, or it, yeah, it's the direction at which it offsets from the near clip plane. So it's really, it's just a, 
a, a distance that we can change. So like rect position is the rectangle position. Uh, or wait, look position is the ball. I'm sorry. I keep thinking look position is the camera's position, but it's not. So the rectangle position is equal to where it's looking plus this offset. And this offset comes from the look direction times the near clip plane. I guess I, I, I think need we to might near clip plane. We might have a misunderstanding about this picture. Either well, at least I did. Um, were you saying that this the circle with the line coming down was the camera, the dotted circle? Coming down? Like the dotted no. circle with the line coming no, to the bottom I, left? That's that's I think the ideal position. Okay. Cuz if you look at when he moves the camera up in the red it's not pointed directly at the ball. It's like in an average between the two. It looks like. I think the idea is that it's like swinging kind of. Like if you were on a swing, your body like, like if you're on a swing, your stomach is your normal. It like swings under, right? So it like twists a little bit. I don't, I feel like it's just a straight line. Like, where's this twist? But it like, not a twist, I guess, but if it were, instead of it following the, the ball, it's staying and sort of, it's as if it was twisting, I guess, around this average position. The average position being that dot in the solid triangle? I think so. Or wait, the dot? No, I think this the position is the dot in the circle. in the dotted circle yeah that's what again that's the that's the ideal position and or that's the position that's the focus position and the focus radius is that circle around it and then the ideal position is somewhere in between where the ball actually is and where we're focusing and so it's swinging I, it's not even swinging. I think of it as swinging because it's not rotating, but it's just moving towards the ball. See, I, I feel like the ball solid staying. ball is the ideal focus point, right? No, not if the focus point is large, or if, not if the focus radius is large. We, we'd want some area in between like where it's looking in the ball. That's like the... the the point of the focus radius right it just seems like the ball like the the diagram says that the box cast is from the ideal focus point like it doesn't seem like it's it's like going between the ideal point and the actual point it feels like it's just focusing on the ideal point yeah i mean yeah i i, I think i said that just to illustrate the swinging that i okay. couldn't really illustrate but yeah that is that is it so we're making a cast from vector, which is the, the focus position. Casting from the focus position. And then we draw a cast line, which is, so we make a vector between the rectangle position and cast from, and that makes a line. And then we give it a distance, which is just the magnitude of cast line. I guess we're just getting all these so that we can put them into box cast. Do you think we could draw this or are these getting too complex and like specific? Uh, no, we could draw it. So a rectangle offset is the look direction, which is the vector between the camera well, and the ball. First, let's, let's first start actually from because it looks like what we're doing is setting all these up just so we can input them into box cast and yeah. edit them so let's let's start with box cast is using this cast from which is the center point of box cast right so yeah why doesn't he just put focused opposition here like why does he have to 
so that he can edit it. Does he edit it? Yeah. Like in this chunk of code he edits it or like later he does? Um uh, I think that he Well actually focus dot position. That's different than focus position, right? Was focus position even a thing? Wasn't it? I thought we were using focus dot position the whole time. I I always thought we were using a focus position. There's focus point and focus uh there's look position. Yeah. Look well we've position. used focus okay. dot position a few times. Yeah, and we just don't we don't have Which is just for that. the ball uh, I mean when we have it set to zero it's just the ball's location, but not anymore. Now it's now it can change. Well now it's yeah. distinct from the ball. So I guess eventually he'll he'll need to edit cast from independent of focus position for whatever reason. I just don't I don't see him doing that yet, but I'm assuming he'll get to it. So the box cast well, the origin is the uh Well the origin is just whatever the focus point is. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the ball. So I guess I'll draw it like the ball is over here. So it's still within the camera's radius, but the focus point is like here. Um, so cast from is just this red dot. And then we cast a lot. We make a, we make cast line, which is equal to rect position minus cast from. And rect position is and then we also re, that uses rect offset so I think we have to define rect yeah. offset so rectangle offset is the look direction well, we, let's just say so rect position though which is the end point of the line from that red dot the end point of that line from that red dot is equal to the look position so where it's looking the rect position is where it's looking plus the rect offset. So the rect position is just where the rectangle's center is. Not not on the camera, but where it lands. So that we can adjust it. Like as like if you look at the picture that he has, it's like you took the rectangle's center and just shifted it down in the y direction from that focus point. But ignore that. Rect position is Why well, I feel like I need rectangle. to have rectangle offset defined before I can use rectangle position. I know, I know. But we we need to know what rect position is using it for to understand it, I guess. Okay. But sorry. <clears throat> so rect and then so rect offset is a distance from the look direction times the near plane near clip plane so it's a plane times a direction what does that equal like does that equal a rectangle of like multiple points coming out like that kind of deal like what does that create look at near clip plane oh i had it open returns a float okay okay that makes sense that makes more sense Near what returns plane, a float it's the distance to from the camera to the plane the the near clip plane or no i'm sorry it, yeah. It oh, is. it's near clip plane. Is that different from what we were saying before? Is that a different plane? Kind of. In. Oh, yeah, the near in, plane and the near clip plane are two different things. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Because near clip plane is something that you edit in main camera. It's the distance. It's, it's right the distance here, before the things start clipping. Camera where drawing occurs. Okay. So anything closer than this, we can't see. So this is basically the near plane. There's nothing that we could see that's closer. 
But it's a float? Yeah, because it's... The near How is it a plane, plane just, and a float? It's the distance from the camera to that plane. Oh, okay, so it is... Okay. So there is a little bit of a vector sense i guess because there is there is a so it is not a plane on. it is a it is the distance to the plane yeah okay so, it's so that that would direction be times position, distance look position is equal to focus point minus look direction times so hit distance plus the clip plane in uh in the uh update or in the late update the look position updating and like the box cast if this is the full distance from the camera to where it hit. So rectangle offset is the distance between the camera and the plane that the camera and the near clip plane in the direction that the camera is looking in. So it's really small, I'm assuming, or like zero. Because you have the camera and then you have the near plane and then you have probably the near clip plane being like right on top of it. And it's just that distance with the direction now. Right? Yeah. Okay, so that's rectangle offset. Rectangle position is the look position, meaning the camera. What yeah. Is the, the look position is just where the camera is. Yes. So then it's rectangle position. Or no, no, look position is where, not where the camera is, where it's looking. So, focus point? No, focus is where it... What is it? I need to... I'm pretty sure focus is, Focus point is where it's supposed to be looking. And look position is where it's actually looking. Look position equals... Oh, well, that's this isn't an if. Um... So look position equals focus point minus look direction times distance. Focus. Oh, and before that we define it as, yeah, okay. Or it's focus point minus look direction times hit distance in regular camera net plane. So it is, it is the, it is the camera's position. Okay. Right. I think so. That's because it says transform dot set position and rotation. And then use then we put look position and look rotation as the arguments there. Yeah, yeah. So we we're getting look position from where it's looking at minus the direction or minus the distance that it's looking. So now rect position is the point that the camera is at in the direction with the direction and magnitude of rectangle offset, which is really small. I'm assuming. Yeah, so you're just adding that tiny extra distance between the camera and the what you can see. Cast from is the red dot. We already that that's just focus position. It's the same thing. Cast mm -hmm. line is rectangle position, which is this little tiny line minus cast from. So it's the tiny red dot with the negative vector, but it's really small going in the opposite direction. I guess. Cast, oh, sorry, I can't see. Cast distance. Yeah, so I guess I should wait. Okay. So this was my idea right here for what cast line is. You have the point minus cast from, which is the opposite of the way the camera is looking with the magnitude of the difference between the camera plane and the clipping plane, or the near clip plane. This feels so arbitrary to me, so still, but I'm, I'm doing my best to follow the logic. Cast, yeah, cast line is rect position minus cast from. When you when you subtract two vectors, it basically like the difference is a vector between them. Well, rect position, oh, rect position is a vector. Okay, I yeah. was thinking of it as a point. Yeah, when you subtract two points from each other, you can. It, it's technically a. Wait, direction. no, but this isn't. This isn't vector minus vector. This is vector minus point. Right, cast from is a point. 
and a vector three. X, Y, Z. How does it have, it's just a focus dot position. Is that just a single point? X, Y, Z. Yes, single point at X, Y, and Z, right? Yeah. So, oh, it's, it's a vector, but it doesn't have direction, right? But if you subtract one X, Y, Z, from another XYZ, that difference is the vector. Chew on that for a sec. Draw it if you have to. I never thought to explain this, but I I realized that this is a this is something I learned in a class. This is not a this is not just like a thing everyone knows. I guess I'm confused. What is the... These are both vectors, but one has direction and one doesn't? Like, what is the difference between these two? The way you are interpreting them. So it As does have know. distance or in a direction. It's just the direction is zero or something? Like... I just remembered how to explain this. I just remembered. Oh, I just remembered. <laughs> Fuck. So I this is every position is a vector. Every 3D position is a vector coming from zero. What does that mean? So it, it's coming from zero, but it's still at zero. Every position. Oh, X. sorry. I didn't realize you were drawing. Yeah. I forget actually what we do for notation again. I need to look it up actually, because I'm going to do it a lot. Vector coordinate. It represents these. Never mind. Look, this is zero, zero, zero. If you say that a point is at 5, 4, 2, you are describing a displacement of 5 in the X, 4 in the Y, and 2 in the Z from 0. Yeah? So, so if I had another point at say seven uh negative four or uh, negative four So, uh, let's say this is A. Fuck this line. I hate the line. This is also a point coming from zero. Because this, this point is... I always do this. Seven, uh, negative four, negative four. Because this point is zero, zero, zero plus seven, four, four. Right? Right. So you could say that adding these two together has gone from, it goes from zero to here 
and I'm drawing this arrow to point out that it's a vector. Addition. So, so we have if you were to say a minus b, you are taking this and then subtracting it. Or no, I'm sorry. I got I got distracted in my head. But basically when you subtract anything, it create there's a vector between them. Like if I wanted to get to this, there would be a vector addition and subtraction going on. Sorry, I petered out at I feel like the most important part, but you had a question and maybe I could just answer that. I I'm still just kind of like it feels like rectangle position and cast from are like different entities because like we're given specifically the direction for uh rect position and we're not for cast from and are, are, like we're meant to just like intuit cast it from, from cast from cast from is focus position yeah so i'm saying is it's just like as as much as it is like that they're the same thing like i i, I can understand you know like the, the argument that it's from zero to that point and that's the vector but like we're given this thing and it specifically is like this is the direction the direction is vector dot forward distance or whatever from this point and then we're given this thing but we aren't given a direction with this thing we are only given a point with this thing are we meant to like just intuit the direction from this it one is a direction it's both there it's it has a direction but not all like what let's let's just run through i guess where is it where does it use direction and how does it use it um rect position is look position plus rect offset which is look direction times a point no it's a float oh right so it's times the distance. So it's a it's a direction times a distance, which in my mind created a vector, but direction was already a vector. But that's it, it creates a new vector, I guess. Direction is a distance or is a direction vector. They so it you could take a direction vector or direction vector is is just like a one pointed in any direction. There's a there's a one magnitude. I'm sorry. So it's a vector that only only has but, magnitude. Yeah. So like, here. I I let me. Let How me is that a really vector? Quick. That isn't. Just. I needed to take calc three, man. Maybe, but. It's uh, I see it as you got out of some homework. For stuff you could learn on your own <laughs> but i mean it, i guess i still vector is just something that has like three quantities to it or right yes vector three the so vector it's two what are the three quantities to this magnitude thing like it's just the magnitude right like it I'll, is I, it's magnitude and direction and position, math. I guess. Let's see. Okay. Could you ask the question again at a slightly at a pace that matches my drawing? Yeah. Um Okay. So look direction, we're given that you're saying it's a direction vector in that it it only has a magnitude. Right? No. It only has a direction. Its magnitude is one. Okay, so it has a direction. So the three quantities in that are the position, the direction, and the magnitude? No, X, Y, and Z. So it's just the position? A position, which is, what is a position? X, a Y, position and Z. It is a, yeah, but it is 
a displacement from zero. I mean, uh, just ba basic math, zero plus five is five. Yeah. Right? So <clears throat> if you're talking about five, you're talking about five away from zero number line. So you could say, well, let me see if I can do a... So are you saying position inherently has direction and magnitude just tied into it? They're just yeah. like one quantity? Yeah, the Pythagorean's theorem. The hypotenuse. You can split it up into any two directions, but basically you have to do the Pythagorean theorem in... Uh, with x, y, and z. So how do you have a variable magnitude? Like, how do you make magnitude different in that if you can only put x, y, and z? You, you multiply a float by that x, y, and z, and it gets further away from zero. But in the same exact direction. So it's not the same one, coordinates, it's, the same. it's a new direction. I mean, it's the same direction, it's new coordinates. Yeah. Because, like, if you were to say... Uh, y equals 2x that's just a line right that's a straight so what is magnitude then I, I don't even I guess I don't have a good definition for that let's look 3d vector magnitude equation or formula the magnitude of a vector is equal to the square root of a squared or yeah, a square or x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Square root of those. So it's Pythagorean mm -hmm. with with three, three dimensions. But what yeah. does that represent, I guess? What is that like how quickly it's going in that direction? Uh, like Uh kind of, yeah. How far it's going. If it's per frame, then yeah, it is quickly. So it, it's what's, just the what's, distance? Yeah. It's just the distance of... It's like the length of the vector then? Yeah, magnitude is length. Okay. That's that's a better word for it. So we have this... Say this is a point in 3D space. Right here. I guess I'll make it blue. So we have the coordinates, which are, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever. Yeah. And then... This is what makes it a vector. It's one, two, three, three, vector three. Yeah. Um, and within this X, Y, and Z, we get the magnitude because this is the Pythagorean of all of these. It's just finding the straight line to the point from yeah. zero to that. And then we also have the direction of the line. So it, it kind of is like we have position, direction, and magnitude, but it's not like they're three separate things. They're all given by X, Y, and Z. Yeah. I always interpreted vectors as they're, it's three things combined, but in that it's position, direction, and magnitude. No. Not that it's just X, Y, Z. So what, vector two... Is that just like a unity thing or like how do you have a no, vector with two too. things? Same way. I mean, you basically drew it because you didn't use the other axis. You just erase that axis that's coming towards us. Oh, so it's just a vector that doesn't use all three. See, yeah. I mean, a vector is just a direct. It's that's that's what a vector is. This is one of the things that I failed physics because I didn't understand and went back the second time and got it on my first like uh lab day it was a big i uh whatever it's called <laughs> i was gonna say hypotenuse <laughs> well, i remember how to add vectors you get the tail the tail tail by tail right. rule i remember how to do that much at least yeah so i know two dimensional that, the first vectors one you drew, the first one you drew you did you know it you know it actually hold on do it again do what well you just did the vector vector connect them you know how to do that you know how to act. You know how to add vectors. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. So just draw so that. So look position plus draw, draw. rectangle offset. Well, here. 
I guess I just don't know how to represent those things on a graph, really. X. Y. Zero, zero. X, Y. Yeah, that. That's if it's a vector two. Ooh. Okay. How about? Or I guess it's just a two-dimensional vector. I guess it's the same. Two D and three D work exactly the same. The, the the Pythagorean theorem should prove that the fact that you just go x x squared plus y squared plus z squared square root of that. Well, fuck this. You get it. It's you. You're just adding. Just use the brush. The fucking line tools line. suck. So it's. I mean, I'll try. This is. I mean, it's. It's each of the three directions of displacement from zero. So you have one vector going this way. One vector going direction. this way, one vector going this way, and then it's the net, kind of like the addition of all of them together, in a sense. Yeah. Is the point. I guess, how do you even... I guess it would be like... You do a straight line across like that, and then... Like that. And the point would be there. And then you have this line... I guess this is just kind of an arbitrary point I just made up, but... Wait, it's this. You take... it go First it starts at X, then Y, then brings it up to Z. All at the same time. And this distance is just X squared plus Y squared plus Z squared. Square root. Okay. And it's also, you you might notice further on, like, hit distance. That's that's using the Pythagorean theorem in 3D space there. Where is this? Whenever we use hit dot distance. Oh. We've used it a couple times. It's taking your position and the other position, subtracting them. Because it's like this. We're, uh, here's here's the, the tricky part, I guess. If you wanted to find the distance, and this was x minus 1, or like x minus 1, y minus 1, z minus 1. You know what I mean? Not 0. Yeah. Then it's really x squared minus a. We'll say it's a, b, c. Not x squared, sorry. x minus a squared plus y minus b squared plus c minus c squared do you think that's that something we'll have to do here it's what we're doing oh that is what we're doing already yeah that's what we're doing when we do a cast line although not the squaring part but the, the, the subtracting part we do with cast line is equal to rec position minus cast from we're defining vector as the difference between these two points. Which could then be looked at that, that point that we get, which is a point, is also a vector because that minus zero makes a vector. So then we can just pull the magnitude right off of it like we do in cast distance. Yeah, and magnitude is that is this x minus a squared shit. He never has us type it out because Unity has magnitude and length and distance. Just built in. In a lot of their stuff, yeah. 
I mean, so, that's what, what the whole point of a 3D engine is, like, basically doing that kind of stuff in smoother ways than maybe just, like, getting the squares. So what is, in this case, cast direction? Why do we need to, like, find it as, as like, a separate thing like this? Like, we, we get cast line, and then we pull the magnitude out of line, and then we do line divided by the magnitude to get just the direction? Like, what does that mean? I guess I'm not following the math on that one. Uh, so the magnitude is... The magnitude is the... Like, it non- seems like the magnitudes cancel. Like, I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense. Magnitude is always positive. Magnitude is uh, absolute value. Okay. Whereas cast distance, I believe, I believe that can be negative. No, I don't know. Well, I mean, I, I guess cast, it technically could, but like, no, it's defined distance. as. Oh yeah, uh, cast. I'm sorry, I I wasn't even reading that it was cast distance. I guess because he maybe doesn't want to. I don't know, maybe he doesn't want... I guess want... I'm just not understanding, like, fundamentally. Well, how does that even make sense? Like, if you have this point, and the magnitude is just the distance between these lines, and then you take this, and you get only this float, what is the value, which is the the magnitude, and then you divide it by the magnitude, so those cancel, then wouldn't you just have a point at zero, zero, like, if there's no magnitude? Uh, no, I mean, you would have, you'd have a direction still. Because the magnitude is that squared, squared, squared. Whereas the direction, or I'm sorry, the. I, I, how can you have a cast... direction without a magnitude, I guess? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. The, uh, a point. You you get the the point, I believe. Like, hmm. how do I? Let me let me run it in my head. Okay. Sorry, this has turned into more of a. <laughs> so it's a, a, this is like telling a stream. I'm just telling. Well, I, no, I'm. It's learning. I'm. I'm figuring the shit out, because like I feel like this first half like conflicted with what my idea of a vector was, and then this seems to be going. I'm not saying my idea of a vector is right. It was wrong, but I'm saying like this seems to line up with what I thought a vector was, where it's like, oh, you could just remove the magnitude and you still have the distance part, but like now with my new understanding of vectors, now it doesn't add up with how I'm thinking about it. Like, um, I guess you just have a point. Think of it, that think just... of it like backwards, I guess, from how we do rect offset. Rect offset, we multiply a direction by a point. Or by a distance, I'm sorry. We multiply a direction by a distance to get a distance in a direction, right? With rect offset. Right. So... I guess I would get that more if we were just, like, subtracting from the magnitude, but, like, it's going to zero, right? Like, the magnitude just cancels. Am I am, no, am I right in that? It's going to one, it's, right? Isn't it? Uh, or where is, where is it going to zero? I guess this may be my fundamental misunderstanding, but I tried to explain it here, but I'll try yeah. to just draw it again. So you have the 3D thing, you have the point, you have the vector pointing at it. This is the magnitude. Right here, we pull out only the magnitude. So we have the magnitude now as a float. And then we divide this point by the float that is a magnitude. So would this magnitude and this magnitude just cancel? And now you well, just have the point. We're not 
we're not dividing it by a point. We're dividing a cat a line. I guess that's that's what I meant to say. Yeah. So we have. Oh wait, we're dividing just a line. We're dividing a line by a distance. Cast line is rect position minus cast from. In other words, the is. difference between them, which can be seen as a vector. So, I mean, it's a. It is still a vector, right? Like. Yeah. So I just. So it, it still it has a magnitude. Three, it is. Um. With cast line, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're dividing cast line by its magnitude, and a mag a, a vector is a magnitude multiplied by its direction. So we're getting just the direction. Yeah. I guess I can but follow I, that like written out on paper. I think I didn't. I something I guess to also remember is just that a vector is is that a it's a a direction multiplied by a magnitude. So if you normalized a vector and made the highest thing one, uh, it would still point in the same direction. Right? If you divided a vector by its magnitude, the low, uh, the highest point it could be is one, or in the x, y, or z. Yeah, because the reason it cancels out is because it just equals one. You multiply it by one, and nothing happens, right? I didn't. I, I don't know. I didn't understand that. Like, I guess in this sense, it's so you have direction times magnitude divided by magnitude. So these two cancel out because it's essentially the same as yeah. saying d times one. Mm. Or more like d times one one one. Or no, uh, other way around. I'm sorry. It's more like D is X, Y, Z. You, like, think of it as, like, each number is getting multiplied. I guess it would be that. Wait. Yeah, whatever. Is the direction can be defined by... This? I guess, yeah, this is the trick with vectors. A vector is a direction if it's if all its things are less than one because then its magnitude cannot be uh, greater than one right or no it has to be one because the square root of one is one you can't have a the square of one is one so is this correct what I'm writing out is this what you think yeah yeah see this this is now conflicting with I thought magnitude was just like included in this inherently already. No, magnitude is included in that whole box that you're talking about. It is cuz I mean you just wrote it. it but is I mean included. I thought that if you got x, y and z and then you mm -hmm. plot them on a point, you are mm -hmm. that like that's the magnitude like you already have it. Yeah. So and why do you direction. need to multiply it by magnitude again? Like wouldn't there wouldn't you have How would you two get the magnitudes direction? like What's the direction? Is that not the... Oh, no. The Pythagorean is the magnitude. So the direction is the uh, addition of all the vectors? Yeah. Well, it's... X, yes. But you don't add x to y. You add its starting point, 0. You add x to 0. So it vectors, that, this is part of it too, I guess. Vectors only have one point. The point they start from. Yeah. They point in a direction. And then, and so like, if it's 30, 30, 30, that is a 1, 1, 1 vector times 30. That is a 1, 1, 1 vector with a magnitude of 30. But couldn't you just say it's a, like, 30, 30, 30 vector with a magnitude of 30? Like, No. Because That be... wouldn't make any sense. That's an extra thing. 
I say a 30, 30, 30 vector, you know it's a 1, 1, 1 vector times 30. It's part of vectors. Vectors are a direction, and the numbers in that direction define its magnitude as well. And the ratio between those three numbers defines its direction. That's part so of for it. me to know what for me to like, if I were to just grab look position and be like, here's what I need to say about look position. I need to write the x, y, and z coordinates and also their distance from zero with the multiplication between. Like, I, I guess I should. Yeah. So I say I have a point. You're very close, I think. Oh, I guess I shouldn't draw it there, actually. Let's draw it, and I should do it in, like, orange. So it's fucking, uh... Wait, is this even right? No, it'd be more like... Like that, I guess? Is that right? How I would... No. I'm thinking about how to how to draw mapping out the point. Well, if it's if like if, if it's I actually have coordinates, things, try drawing one side at least as a plane, as a full plane, like that. Yeah. And then yeah. So the point would be like there. And that's a one, one, one. If they're all equal. Which, it, I mean, just based on looking at it, that looks like a one, one, one. Um. Okay. So, I mean, I guess I have this point. And... Um, I guess I don't know what uh, what I was where I was gonna put it on the thing. I guess I could just say three three three. So say it's at three comma three comma three. That this is a three 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 with a magnitude of one. No. Because they're all the same, or that's a one 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 with a magnitude of three. Yeah. What's the difference? Like, could I... Is this just me being... Is this, like, wrong? Or is this just, like, a smart-ass answer? Uh, it's a dumb-ass answer. <laughs> okay. That's what I mean. Sorry, like, is it wrong? Or, like... It's, it's, it's just, like... It, it, it's ignorant of the reason why vectors are arranged the way they are. The idea is that you can, you can get a direction from 1 to 0 out of those three points. Like, they could be... Point one, point two, one. That's the smallest that a vector can be while still having, while being in between the range of zero to one, I guess. Like, well, okay, it's all based on the unit circle. Unit circle is one distance, right? And right. in the unit circle, you could say pi over two is 90 degrees. fuck was that that's okay. 90 degrees right pi over 2 radians is 90 degrees yeah so if you were to say that your position on the unit graph was 0 pi over 2 be right there its distance would be 1 at all times because it's on the unit circle and its direction is 90 degrees okay the idea is that you can you can say any direction exists like you could say any direction with a magnitude of 1 multiplied by any number is just equal to that vector at, at that distance at, at the distance that you multiply it by so 3 3 3 is a 1 1 1 vector extended 3 times its length 
But so if I if one. I like gave you like four, five, and seven, would you like have to reverse it to make the magnitude one? Like, would you have to do some process to these numbers in order to like solve for how the what makes the magnitude one? Like, yep. Okay. You would. You do square root of four plus square root of five plus square root of or square. Sorry. 16 plus 25 plus 49 square, square root of that root. that's the magnitude and magnitude is equal to the direction or I'm sorry the magnitude times direction is your total vector and so if your total vector is 4, 5, 7 oh whoops. is that right 16, 25, 49 I don't think I can do square root on that calculator, but... That's weird. It's not on Google. Yeah, I thought it would just auto-do it. Maybe just calculator. Whatever. Um, I was hoping for something smarter than this so I could just write in the problem but whatever 16 plus 25 plus 49 oh you said 90 okay i didn't know what you said it's okay uh whatever 9.48 so the the magnitude is 9.48 right so is that correct um it should be yeah so now i need to i know that direction times 9.48 is equal to the vector? What it was? 9.48 is the magnitude. Your original position is, or your original vector. It's 4, 5, okay. 7. Yeah. Or think about it as 4 minus 0, 5 minus 0, 7 minus 0. Because a vector is the difference between two points. So I mean, do so then I have four, five, seven times nine point four eight. Nope. That's the end. Four, four, five, seven is the end. Oh, so it it does equal four, five, seven. But like you were saying, minus zero. I'm just not gonna write all that. Yeah. Yeah. Just something to remember. And I need to make this equal one no well i, I mean I, direction i'm solving for direction yeah okay i thought i, I guess i misunderstood what i was doing so 9.48 no. 457 over d no, you're solving for d Um, Start at the fuck. first one again. You're solving for D's. So put D on the left side of the equation. So I just divide by 948. Yep. <clears throat> and then it's just 4 divided by 9.48, 5 divided by 9.48, 7 divided by 9.48. And you'll get the normalized direction. Is it like, what is the unit here? Like it's just no. three different things? It's a vector. The direction is a vector. Oh, yeah. So then, you were to take that direction vector, multiply it by its magnitude, and you have the vector you were talking about. Okay. Uh, four divided by nine point. What was it? Four eight. I mean, it it cancels. What it does? It's gonna cancel again, right? Like. Well, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was I was thinking ahead. I mean, I basically always, and whenever I was doing math like this, I like always had to have a calculator for even like basic shit. Five divided by nine point four eight. I need to like see it. 
If it does cancel out, I need to like figure that out, I guess. And then I do all that. That's the direction. That's the direction, remember that. That's how you get direction. You multiply or divide the thing, the vector, by its magnitude to get its direction. Because. I guess, what because, does that even mean? Like, so I have its direction. Like, what if I just. Like, would this not be the same vector if I just subtracted, like, 0.01 from each one of these? Like, it would be the same direction, right? Yes. But. This is just yeah, one way to represent that direction, essentially? That is the largest that you can represent it within the unit circle. Okay. Okay. In other words, such that or normalize. you could multiply it. So you can multiply it by the magnitude so that it's easy. That's the whole point. It's to make it easy for you. You store more data and less things by, like, adding an implicit Pythagorean theorem. What was my magnitude again? 9.48. Okay, I see now why you were saying... So it's just the same thing again? What? What is? So I... I so I have 4 over 9.48. It is the same thing, yes. 5 It's the thing you started with. 4, 8. Uh, 7 over 9.48. And those all just cancel, and then I just have 4, 5, 7. Yep. This, that was a proof. Oh. I just proved that the the distance times the magnitude of a vector is equal to or the distance a vector is equal to a magnitude times a distance. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, a dis I keep saying distance. No, 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 no. Say a that vector, again. A vector is equal to a direction multiplied by a magnitude or distance. Same thing. Magnitude and distance are the same thing. Yes. Okay. But magnitude... Yes. No, yes. They are. Magnitude is specific to vectors, and distance is specific to displacement. But they are interchangeable in this situation, because we're displacing. Okay. So, I guess I misunderstood what I was solving here. This was very helpful, though. Okay. But I That's guess... good. Very good. Um, That's... a question that I'm having now ar arising from this is like in the, in the way that three, three, three is the same as one, one, one times three. Is there, I mean, yeah. Right. Yeah. Is there a way for me to write four, five, seven that is like more at like a more elegant version of it in the same way that is do you know what i mean like is that something i should uh, even remotely worry about the way you would do that is by just using variables that's like that's the elegant way because otherwise it's <clears throat> it is just going to be 0. 0.42 0. 0.57 or whatever okay yeah oh this is this yes okay <laughs> that's okay i see a direction oh yeah i guess i should have just said <laughs> yes you did i thought you already i, thought I you see meant, it like, yeah. okay so i was doing what i thought i was doing i just i missed yeah, it until yeah. just now okay that's good though the fact that it's hard like the fact that you missed it a couple times means that it is a uh an epiphany worth getting because yeah. most people won't go looking for it they'll pass by it the first time and never look again Jesus. But this is this is crucial. This is crucial to physics. Yeah. All forces, every force vector is just a direction vector and a, a magnitude vector. Or uh, God, I'm I'm tired now. 
<laughs> a direction and a magnitude. Oh I mean, yeah, this has become like one of our longest ones in a while. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, I'm obviously down to keep doing it. Um, so I mean, do, do you want to go back to the thing then? I guess like are we? We only have like two paragraphs left. Yeah. Okay. Let's get it done. So let's get this chunk in here. Look direction equals look rotation. So yeah, that goes right in within late update. Right above the physics ray cat, the box cast. I need to update it from focus point to cast from. I still don't understand why they do why we do that, but I'm sure we'll get to it. Oh, the cast from is equal to focus position? Yeah, like why don't we just put focus position here, you know, yeah. but I'm sure he'll do some edit to cast position, like you were saying. Yeah, that, I, that probably is what it is. It could, I guess, be something to do with saving, like, like it, it could be harder for it to do, like, a deep dive from the if statement. If it's, like, a slightly deeper dive into, you have to go into focus and then grab its position. <clears throat> Whereas if you do it before the if statement, it's like fresh for the if statement. It's like in its hand. That's uh, that's hmm. kind of how I see it. Is like if you pre, if like if you see it, like an if statement, you don't want it to get called and then it has to go searching. If you like know what it's gonna want and you put it in its hand beforehand, that seems to be a good practice from, from okay. this guy anyway. From this guy, it seems like he likes to get all the pieces. Have ready it baked for into a, a little night yeah. meat package for you. Yeah. But it may be, maybe that. I mean, I think making vectors is pretty easy for the computer. Yeah. I think finding or referencing things might be a little harder. If something is hit, then we position the box as far away as possible. Then we offset to find the corresponding camera position. We position the box as far away as possible. Like within its range, I guess. Direct position is cast from plus cast direction times the hit distance. So it's the cast position, or cast from, it's that, it's the dot that it's casting from plus the direction times the magnitude so the distance that it went times its direction and then we say that the look position is equal to that rect position minus the rect offset so we're moving up the plane and then moving the camera to match the plane. Minus the offset so that it doesn't clip into the guy. Yeah. That okay, that that just made it that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I think multiplying multiplying vectors by their or like multiplying magnitudes and directions to get a vector. That was the that was the part that I couldn't I couldn't figure out was missing. But he uses it a ton. Okay, and final, final section, obstruction masking. We wrap it up by making it possible for the camera to intersect some geometry by ignoring it when performing the box cast. This makes it possible to ignore small detailed geometry, either for performance reasons or camera stability. That's nice. I'm, I'm glad he's yeah. adding this. So you can set a, an object to have a certain tag to make it be like ignored by the camera. Can yeah, you I set an object? Same, Sorry. I think it's the same way as the other ones where we just make a, a layer. Yeah. Could I set a thing to have multiple layers? Like if I wanted it to interact with the individual steps of a staircase but not cause my camera to clip or something? Like these two different layers that I have? Or would yeah, I need I to just that, make a new layer that, that has both of those? I think that this 
because it's part of Boxcast, I, I think. Well, and it's part of physics, so it's a physics layer. It has to be a physics layer, right? I think so. So it seems yeah. like. And then just add the obstruction mask at the end of the box cast. And you can do like multi. You can do like mixed groups for stuff. So like, I feel like during play testing, if if there was just like a tree or something that gets in the way, and we, like, we just add it to the obstruction mask. And we do like a, <clears throat> like once we figure out a figure out that the the thing that's in every game now of the like or shit fades the, like yeah the... yeah like the fading or like the the dithering i really like the dithering but i yeah. just like dithering but i think frog yeah. gun has it i thought pretty well like a pretty good version of it oh nice actually let me see if i could launch frog gun within like 30 seconds and show that if it takes longer than that i'm not doing it um use this time to get caught up this game is fucking sick oh no frog gun just snaps it never mind so yeah frog gun's camera is the same as what we have right now basically it oh, it, yeah. it does a little bit Oh, it kind of like, does snap, yeah. It snaps a little bit more jarringly than I expected. It does have a little bit of a lerp, though, you see? Yeah. I would like to get at least that level. But yeah, I, 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 I was very confident that Frog Gun had that dithering effect. I was dead wrong. I, I Well, I know, like, Sekiro has it. Sekiro has a, a very nice dither. Let me see if I could find one really quickly that I know has it. I downloaded a bunch of demos recently from that Steam Summer thing. Um, also, while you're getting caught up, I think Lightbringer might have it. That's a maybe. Um, what is Lightbringer? Did Sable have it? It's just the, just some game I found on Steam that had a demo. I don't really remember. It's kind of like a Zelda-like. I don't remember what it was exactly that uh, was like its big hook if it had one. Mm -hmm. But I remember it being like ze like Zelda exploring dungeons type of deal. I didn't actually get through all of the demos. I need to go back to that. Unsighted, I remember, caught my attention. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to launch Lightbringer real quick, and then if it doesn't have it, I'm giving up on this. Oh, no, actually, I know exactly what to do. I, I know I know one that has it for sure. I was just following... Uh, I'm following this person on Twitter. You sent their... You sent me a game project they were working on like a while back. Oh, was it like Uzo or Uzego or something like that? No, their name is just Japanese. They're, they're, it's Chinese, I think. I, but their ad is Kyufu. They're working on... Remember uh, that game of the robot that jumps into the water? What, what was the style like? Here, it's on stream right now. Oh. Uh, I don't remember this. Let me find the exact gif you sent me, because I'm sure you'll remember that one. Yeah, Actually, most, wait. I could I just. Don't, I don't recognize their their submarine game. I guess I should or, show like, that. I don't remember when you sent it. Maybe it would be faster to find it on like just scrolling what through. What the Twitter. hell? I just got gifted a sub. On what? To the the overlook. What is that? I don't... <clears throat> I don't know. 
This one. Do you remember this? God, it won't play through. Keep playing, you fucking gif. Okay. Why does it... Oh. <clears throat> I do remember this. This game has it, 100%. I remember. I was looking through the tweets. How do I look at my fucking liked tweets? <laughs> A profile. It's like yeah, it's your I thought it would be home. Yeah, here it is. Where instead of it just clipping through the camera, uh, causes it to like yeah fade out of existence. Honestly, a lot of um haunted PS one games have that. Yeah. I just went I on honestly... like a binge of liking this guy's stuff recently. There's so many cool effects that he has in this game. I wonder how much of this is... I wonder how much of that is the camera and how much of that is like the the render pipeline. Yeah, I don't know how to handle that kind of shit. Because I know the Haunted PS1 games, a lot of them are in the same... RP, I believe. And that's why like a lot of them look the same or have similar similar effects, like the texture warping and stuff. Okay, so now I should be able to set I'm going to set these cubes to wait, is that how that works? Obstruction mask Mixed. Wait, what? Oh, so I would have to make a new layer for that? Is that the idea? Obstruction mask. Yeah. Oh, so I would right here. I would create a layer. Or I could just uncheck. No, because it's this is just default. So yeah, I could. Oh, this should be you default. Just... You just add obstruction mask to stuff you want. Wouldn't I just create a, la a layer just called like camera ignore and then put all these boxes in that layer? Um, yeah, but uh, you don't have to put them in just one layer. I'm pretty sure. I could put them in like multiple layers. I thought so. I think I might be wrong, but I feel like I've seen it. Say How do I back next... out? There we go. Oh wait, maybe you can create. Well, I don't know. Well, you you do a layer and then you say what <clears throat> what affects it. You just say actually nothing. It doesn't. No. Yeah, it, you just say agent affects it like before. You make it the same as what it was and just add. Or you make it the same, you make the camera ob obscure the same as the other one, just with a. Just have it be called camera obscure, I guess. So yeah, I have it called camera ignore, and camera ignore just interacts with everything completely normally. But then I, on the camera, I set it obstruction mask to be only camera, to ignore camera ignore, I guess. Oh, that's how you would get it to do multiple things. You put a mask, right? Yeah. So yes, I could yeah, put yeah. the mask that's on the was. cube, but I don't necessarily I don't have to in this case. That's overkill. So ideally, if I understand this correctly, I should those cubes should behave the same way, but they won't cause my camera to move like this when I get close to them. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh, wait. This didn't work. I could still clip through my guy. Whatever. I guess I could just... Can, how do I change the near uh, clipping uh, distance? I should just do that It's in quick. camera. Clipping planes near. Just make that point one instead, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, no. Barely. I don't know. Oh, you could also just increase the distance on the follow camera. Oh, okay. Distance. 
I don't know if that Up would... to six, I guess. I guess that doesn't really prevent it from getting close. No, nah, yeah, it still does it. Um, I guess try to do point oh nine. Or wait, no, you want the you want it to be higher. You want the distance to be higher so that the cameras. It's it's making it better though. Oh no, yeah, I didn't, never mind. I'm sorry. The clipping cuts it out, so you do want it to be closer. It's weird that you can just like get so close to the ca the camera, anyways. Though, like you yeah. literally just completely blind it. So whatever, it probably isn't super important right now. I think setting up the minimum distance is the real answer. It should like stop like here. At this point, I don't know. I I don't know what the solution is actually. Yeah, I think you would you'd have to set up an if statement. All right, let's see if this works. Uh with yeah. the... <clears throat> nice. This worked exactly as we hoped. So now the camera doesn't get affected by these little small things and it can That's just click great, right actually. through. That's great actually. That's fucking great. That's so nice. <laughs> that makes it look like a real game. Yeah. Having like a selective camera. Huge. Huge. So huge. Yeah. Well, that was that was worth it. <sighs> That's so funny. Like, <laughs> if I you were to be like, on. "Mom, look what I did today. We spent like four hours talking about calculus, and look at this. Whoa! <laughs> like nothing's happening. You're just like, okay, what? What did you do? Yeah. The camera moves. Like, ugh." I think I mean that's we're done for sure. We're not doing anything else. Yeah. That's that's way too long. But what was the thing that you said get get cracking on that I I thought was a oh, good idea? Oh, um using a it box wasn't this, using yeah. a box raycast to like project a texture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Write that down cuz that yeah, if you could get call. that that would be sick. Do you remember did you ever see that demo that someone made where they take a picture? And then they put the camera down, and I think you tweeted that to me too. Yeah, I could, I could see if I could bring it up. The, and what they took a picture of is like projected in three D space, and it creates meshes. There's some stuff that is just like, it's just like if the cat-like coding person didn't do tutorials and just focused on one thing. I feel like yeah, it's like, like it's I'm like about to go sicko mode. It's like portals, like yeah. it's that. Or like the other one, like there's some stuff that I see on YouTube where they'll never, they know that it's so much work to get where they're at. So they're not going to ever show how to do it because that alone would take work. But then they're also giving away their secret. I saw one where it was. <clears throat> here, I have it right here. I saw another one, though, that I, maybe I'll find, I'll find that one to share as well. The one I'm talking about. So yeah, this, really this cool... one's sick. So he takes a picture, prints it out. Bam. <laughs> what? How do you do that? <laughs> what is that? That makes no fucking sense. That's so insane. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. That's got to be involving the same kind of stuff you're doing right yeah i mean to like a you're really wanting to do simple i think a really simple like that is so sick i don't know if this person ever made it like a full game or anything though probably got hired that was so cool <laughs> here's what happens when you photograph half a crate Oh, it just cuts it. That would be a sick thing. If we could figure out how to cut meshes. I was literally getting getting to that, basically. Try to find a video that does that. Oh, okay. But yeah, like Metal Gear uh, Sur Revengeance or whatever the fuck it's called. Do you know what I'm talking about? That game, like, goes crazy that, with cutting meshes. Is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly which one that is. 
where he plays Raiden and the whole game is just yeah. chopping shit up. Did you ever play Chippy? Is that the 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 face, the punch? face punch one? No. Yeah. You should. I played Chippy for about an hour and a half today. It is good. Do you have the, what's it called? The arcade cabinet yeah. now? I don't. I don't have the gears to make it, but I do have it. That's sick. But it is really good because they do something that's. I've. I. It is just awesome. The. It's a bullet hell. All I've been on the fence about it just because I wanted the fucking. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? I, I mean, I was very, very glad to play it and have fun because it just made the arcade cabinet that much more valuable. But basically the idea is that the boss is made out of pixels, and each time you hit one pixel on the boss, it goes down a little bit, like a health, and changes color. So you have to break all these pixels like Oh, brick, it's kind of like Brick thing. Breaker, yeah. Yeah, but the boss moves around and shoots at you, and he has turrets. Basically all of the enemies are like squid things where they have tentacles going around in a circle it is 50 percent all... off yeah that's why i got it and it has um each tentacle has a turret on it so the idea is like you shoot the base of the tentacle and the whole tentacle just like lops off so you like shoot into the cracks of like where the legs are and you cut off the legs from the inside that's pretty cool it's it's really good and the, the power-ups are really good the like they, they have one where I wonder how the arcade called, like, version compares to the actual like I think Steam I've version. seen it and it's like just simpler which is cool but they have a they have a power up that like in a bullet hell things aren't physical like but in this game you can do like there's a power up that does a force push like impulse around you and everything just moves out of the way like it's water that's sick it's really cool it was made by face punch or do they just like publish it, it like what is the deal punch. with that i know that they own the music they, have you looked at any like stuff for uh for sandbox which is basically mm. gmod 2 no is that what it's called yeah well i mean sandbox it's been a project for a long time it was they were basically like we're gonna make gmod but in like unreal engine but then they just recently but like uh i guess gary newman hadn't really been a big part of it but then recently they got, well, I mean, I say recently, it was like a year ago. They got like the source to like SDK from Valve and they're like one of the only people to have it, even though normally Valve is hell open about it. So they've just been like tearing through the source two shit and they've been remaking sandbox from the ground up in source two. So it's kind of like wow. a new thing, but, um, he has they have like a blog that they keep up on it if you're interested in seeing like the progress they make they, they go super in depth about the specific like mechanics they're working on and all that but I don't remember why I brought up sandbox now um <clears throat> I think because of face punch yeah but I feel like I was going to say something about it god damn it whatever oh I was going to say uh you know how in Gary's mod, you have like uh, Half Life weapons all the time. Mm -hmm. In Sandbox, it's Rust weapons. Oh. Which is kind of fun. Yeah. So, like, you run around with like a custom yeah. and a P2 and the Pumpy and That's shit like that. That's kind of odd. <clears throat> Since it's like a, it's a Unity game. Yeah, they just ported the assets over. Apparently, it was a pretty smooth process. Oh, so I, I didn't put it together that Face Punch is part of it for some reason. Yeah, Face Punch does I, Gmod I, and stuff, yeah. Well, no, I know I know that, but for some reason, I, I guess I missed the part where you said that Face Punch was doing Sandbox. I thought it was like... Oh, uh, yeah, other. sorry. Yeah, when I said... I I'm not... I wasn't being it. like... Like, when when I said it's basically Gmod 2, I don't mean like... Like, as in there... Like, literally, like, it's basically a sequel. Yeah. It's Gary's mod he's working on. That's very good. That makes me happy. That'll. That's all. That's like. Uh, I mean, that that could be just like the. It would be like how when you play Gmod and you're just like a guy who played Half Life and Half Life Two, and you're just like, oh, all my favorite stuff from my favorite game is in here, and I just get <laughs> to move it around. We'll we'll be the old Rust boys on Sandbox. <laughs> Yeah, pe this, like these kids, they're just like, "Oh, you got the, you got the G mod two gun." 
Yeah. But yeah, if, the... if you look that up, it's pretty neat. If you look up the the dev oh. log they have. If they, okay, if they, if they can do Rust Dark RP. Oh. <laughs> oh man, like if it is a near, if it is a close port to the way Rust is, like the way it that's dangerous and shooting stuff. Yeah, but then you have like, you have like heavies. You have player heavies who are cops. You can role play as a scientist and just like, like patrol the oil rig and shit. Oh my god, dude, that's, <laughs> that's my whole shit. That's so fun. That'd be so fun to walk around with a bunch of bots. You should get Tarkov. That's yeah, be- I guess that's true. It's that been like part of it. that's become so much more a part of it. It's just like I feel like you would have fun just being a scav and just like roaming, roaming the yeah. the map. But yeah, I mean, not that you need another game to fucking hyper addict you right now. I think we can yeah. call it here, right? <laughs> Definitely. I mean, we it says the timer's at three hours, but you got to remember that we had like 45 minutes at the beginning and then my yeah. stream cut out. So we've been at this for a fucking while. That was like the most productive one we've had like in a long time. Even like not like here, like it doesn't look that productive, I feel like. But I feel like we, we were we were the most we thorough, the most yeah. thorough we've been with the tutorial. Yeah, I, we really. I think we have to do that. It's a good precedent to set, because otherwise we're just copying and pasting the code and just like, once we want to make yeah. a change to it, we're not going to know what the fuck anything is. Yeah, we have to get stronger to fight the next boss. Can't cheese it. Yeah, I remember when I when we did the game jam. Uh, and I, I took my first calc test and bombed it because I didn't study at all and wasn't prepared for it. And then like after that, I was like, okay, now I know I got to fucking drill. Like I got to study my ass off before each test. And then I started getting better and better grades. And then calc two, the first test, I was like, okay, I know I have to study. And I studied my ass off and I still failed it. And it was just like, oh God, like I have to study so much more. Like I'm still not ready. There's just yeah, like two wake up calls. So I'm sure we yeah, would we thing. would be hit by one of these wake up calls eventually if we're like, I, I want to make it so I can run. And then we're just like, oh, my God, everything's broken. I don't know how to do anything like. Yeah, I mean, like we would I feel like. I feel like it's so easy to think of dumb ways to do the stuff that we've been taught to do smartly. You know? Yeah, uh, like you, you could do run or it's a Boolean check. If W is pressed, set speed. Or no, set position plus five on every update frame. There you go. <laughs> just, just regardless of distance, you're just like flying yeah. up into the air. <laughs> oh shit, he's like actually making it a game. Who? The camera guy. Yo, they made it in VR! What? Oh, what? Oh, cool, cool. I I have one inkling of a way that I think it works. I think <laughs> there's over seven realms. I think that he uses depth data or something like that. Did you see that? That's so crazy. I didn't say it. Oh, it's not coming through on the stream. What's happening? What's on the stream? Unless it, I see it on your stream, but not on. I can see it on Streamlabs. On Twitch, though? No, not on Twitch. Can you see me at all? Is there anything? I can see you like moving around. Maybe there's like a forty second delay, but I I never I looked on Discord, but I never saw. Oh, it's because you're doing, it's because you're doing window capture. I switched back. To display. Yeah. Oh. Did you see Tetris? No. I I'm, see it on. I'm putting Tetris screen up. I'm putting Tetris up. Okay. Just tell me when you see it on Twitch. 
I'm just gonna put this on loop. This is sick. Oh, this must be super late. You're talking about. You're like laughing. When's when's the last time you laughed? It's been years. You're scratching your your left ear. Jesus. Was that a long time ago? I don't remember. I don't remember I don't doing know. that. I cannot. Can you I, hear okay. me? Just listen. Yeah, like, I just. What am I I'm saying? I'm unmuted. I am saying. I think it's so easy to think of dumb ways to do this Damn, stuff. Damn, that is far back. Wow. Holy shit. Okay, maybe we've been going a little too long. Yeah, I mean, we were about to end it anyways, and I, and I just kept dragging it out. Uh, okay, we are ending the stream now. Goodbye to everybody. Thank you all for watching. We do this, thanks hopefully... Thanks for sticking around. Hopefully every day at 8. Yeah, thanks for sticking around for our calc talk. I mean, if you're still here after that fucking, like, MS Paint calc lesson, like, you know what you're in for. Uh, that was trick. That was trick three. That was trick trig three? That's a thing? Well, when did we... What, what, there's no calculus. We didn't do any derivatives. I guess that's true. That just reminded me of shit that I would learn in calculus three. Yeah. Is there a trick three? Kind of. Some places do it. Damn. I've been living in the calc theory under a is rock. What we just did, but then we do the derivatives of the x, y, and z. And the x, y, and z are x of t, y of t, z of t functions. We have to go. We. we... Oh! Sorry, I just stubbed my toe. Oh. Now Tetris is on. Shut the, the fuck up with the smurge. Should I have to go to bed?